Good evening, uh, Canon Marn and uh, Farah Moore. This is a video in case uh, Drew Brown doesn't um, or cannot get round to do the um, the radio, and or if anything goes wrong. First of all, SWR standard wave ratio that we discussed. The aerial is one to one point six. It's not too bad. Just gonna turn around here now. This is your little meter that measures it all. This is called a matcher and an SWR meter. When I switch the radio on, which is red to red, black to black, obviously, it's on a permanent transmit, like so. What you need to do is you need to go to forward, match the deflection on the SWR set. This pop it down to the ref, which is your reference, and that tells you that it's about one to two to one point six. Depending on your antenna, it may say anything up to three and to five. So what you do is you go to tune. Let's say it's up there, and you tune it down to the lowest possible. Which is there. My antenna is not designed for your frequency, but just to give you an idea, there it is. And just pop back up forward again. Make sure that it's just on there in reference. And get it to the lowest point possible. It would be possible with the right antenna to get it down to zero, but that's very, very rare. That's called a one to one. Anything below 1.5 should be reasonably healthy. Like I said, this antenna is not designed for it. But this little tune here on the matching unit should do it, as you can see. Matcher, forward, reverse, SWR set. Okay, the radio. Um, the output transistor has had um, a heat sink and a fan unit attached to it. The radio also has a fan unit. There's a few settings for this as well. This is permanently on, never goes off, but it's ultra quiet, and that keeps takes care of the actual output transistor, which heat up. I've tested this radio to three hours, transmitting. However, if we get an exceptionally hot summer, uh, rare I would imagine, but uh, if we do, then you can put it onto summer settings, depending on the noise level. As you can see, now this is wired all in. To the set to the red and black when you plug that into your power supply unit. Just for this little video, let's take that down a notch or two. So you can have like a winter setting or a long sermon and a summer setting if you wish. That's all being taped on there, so it's pretty solid. This has been screwed in place, the speaker has been removed, um, and the fan, this little fan at the back. Is wired into the main motherboard so it will come on um, these are just to stop any stray RF getting into the radio right front of radio even though it's upside down it'll always come on at that frequency and that frequency is 27.681 or 27.680 a couple of kilohertz either side does not really matter the only button you need to worry about on this one is the off button and the on button leave it permanently on as I will. Right, this is your microphone interface unit. This comes all the way over to here. And as you can see, I've taken the microphone off and I've put in a standard phono jack. Now, I've supplied you with two phono jacks and there's a reason for that. This phono jack is a standard because it's got to do with impedance. If you're using uh, low impedance to up impedance, even though they're reactive impedances, there shouldn't really be a difference, but I don't know how much voltage is actually coming out of your PA system. So you would have to start on a lower setting as such. I'm just going to plug this into um, an input. Now, Jim, on the actual, um, uh, on the day when we went in, you've got a little uh, electrical block. You would put that into the red and that, that obviously into the black. There is a second one, which I have included. Now this has a little 
um, it has a standard insert here but it also has a little audio one-to-one -one matcher or um, they come with different names and all the rest of it and so on and so forth uh, the reason why I've included that is if the volume no matter what you do is too loud into the actual radio then you can use this because it's stepped down somewhat and uh, it's called an audio transformer and um, if, if Drew's watching this then it's uh, it's one of the RS ones Drew and um, I've used the second setting on it so if I just take these two wires here and the audio output from my radio this little shortwave radio every Sunday afternoon you'll be able to hear classical music so I stick that in there and I then I'm going to attach now physically these to these so just bear with me a second Well, as you can see, they're now attached. I have a receiver over here, and as you can see, it's tuned to FM 27.681.00. That's now exactly transmitting, but I'm transmitting into dummy load, so it's not a problem. It's not actually being blasted out there. And if we turn it off, you see, and you see the uh, the um, signal rate goes down. So technically, when you switch your system on, it starts transmitting. The fans automatically come on to the setting that you've put. Classic FM, and this is the backup one, the spare one, in case we have a problem with the voltage. If you're going to have a receiver in the room with you, tuned to this frequency, or the, thereabouts, you'll be able to tune in on it, and then, and then you'll understand um, the audio output settings from the PA system, or from that specific one that you've got. The quality's not bad. Okay, that's it. Um, any problems, give me a call. Usual numbers. Thank you.